you heard? Did you get the word? Gotta get myself a going. Gotta get my seeds a sowing. Gotta do my thing. Swing, baby, swing. Got to go. Got to know. Got to see. And I've got to be. Got to do what I want to. Let's do my thing. And swing, baby, swing. Don't get uptight when things ain't right. Hold on, tiger. Don't lose sight. Hey, do what you can and dig your fellow man and do your thing and swing, baby, swing. He took a loaf of bread and fed the multitude. Cash your bread upon the water, he'll return to you. Many times more you'd be richer than gold if you do your thing and swing, baby, swing. Got to go, got to know, got to see, and I've got to be, got to do. What I want to is do my thing and swing, baby, swing. As you make your bed, so when you lie, this is what you do before you die. Before I die, there's just one thing I'll do my thing and swing, baby, swing. Got to go, got to know, got to see, and I've got to be, got to do what I want to. Let's do my thing and swing, baby, swing. Cause it don't be a play if it ain't got that swing. So swing. Good evening to the West, a good morning to the East. This is a good program from the Savoy. Hello, everybody. This is Big Daddy, band leader and bass player of the Billy Bros. Swing Orchestra, MC DJ, radio host, uh, historian, and so on and so on. Whatever it is about swing, here I am. Music, culture, and history. All that swing. This is the program you're listening to. And I'll do the best I can to entertain you for one hour about listening to songs that maybe you know, maybe you don't, but we'll, you will sure find something interesting. And we will have a wide range of, of swinging music from the beginning of the last century to nowadays. And this particular program, made of 36 episodes, is part of the Swing European Network project, co-financed by the European Union. And uh, as a board member of the Italian Swing Dance Academy that represents Italy in this three-year project, I, I will be here with, along with, uh, in this project, along with 13 partners from 11 different European countries. And the main focus of the project is the artist's mobility in Europe. So now let's get started with Claude Hopkins and his orchestra. 1933, the name of the song is Washington Squabble. Here it comes. Thank you. 
Yes, 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 Claude Hopkins and his orchestra. It was a pianist and arranger and composer, Claude Hopkins. Claude Driscoll Hopkins belonged to the giants of the swing era. And uh, he, he started to play piano at the age of seven and led his first band in 1924. He came to Europe in late 1925 as a musical director for the Josephine Baker Review, the Review Negra. And then toured throughout Europe, coming even in Italy uh, with the show and returned to New York in the spring of 1926. Josephine Bakker, the god, the black goddess, even Mussolini moved to meet her. Can you imagine? During the early 30s, his band became one of the most popular black orchestra in the USA with long residences at the Rosalind Ballroom, 1931-1934. And the Cotta Club, late 1934 until 1936. From 1937, the Claude Hopkins Orchestra took the road, playing to packed houses. When the swing era was over, Hopkins led groups of various sizes and did regular recording sessions, worked as a sideman with groups led by Harry Allen and Wild Billy Davidson, and played mainly jazz festivals. Claude Hopkins, you heard what kind of smooth, elegant swing he played. And it was a song from 1933. 1933, what a swing. Now let's move to 1938 with the great Cab Calloway featuring Chewberry at the tenor sax, a giant of the tenor sax who unfortunately died in a car accident, but it was a, a direct competitor of the great Coleman Hawkins. Everyone says that he was, you know, in a certain way, even better than Coleman Hawkins. Anyway, he was at his level. level. Let's listen to Penguin Swing. <laughs> First to left and then next to right Then you begin to swing Oh, doing, doing the penguin swing Get that plenty swing Follow me with shoulders to the sky Then you will see You doing, doing the penguin swing You get below, you stop your pecking Then you glide from side to side You get high and don't try blind Stay where you will belong Oh, the penguin swing Oh, you shake your feet to the swinging band That is all you do Then you do in the penguin swing
Yeah, Penguin Swing, Cap Calloway featuring Chew Berry. Well, what a song, 1938, 1938. Now let's meet a new friend, Teddy Hill and his orchestra. Teddy Hill's career in music divides into two equally important parts. First, as an active musician, he recorded with many of the best bands of the 20s. After leading his own orchestra that has a long, had a long and great residence at the Savoy Ballroom throughout the next decade, he ceased after, uh, active playing in 1940. Teddy Hill's second occupation was as music director of Minton's Playhouse on West 118th Street in Harlem. This after-hours spot is nowadays remembered as the cradle of bebop. Most of the young, up and upcoming stars of the 40s experimented their new musical concept there under the auspices of host Teddy Hill. And now let's listen to a song from 1937, Blue Rhythm Fantasy, Teddy Hill and his orchestra. listening to all that swing and it was Teddy Hill and his orchestra 1937 Blue Rhythm Fantasy ladies and gentlemen and uh, talking about Teddy Hill he began he first played drums uh, in a school band and also practiced trumpet for a while still in his teens he concentrated on saxes and clarinet at the age of 17 he toured with the Whitman Sisters show in 1927, Hill made his first records with pianist Frank Bunch's combo in his native Birmingham. Soon after, he joined the group of the drummer George Howe, who had just returned from a successful tour of Europe with Sam Wooding, the first band, black band to ever tour touring Europe in the 20s. Uh, George Howe's band became Louis Russell's orchestra when the pianist took over the leadership in 1929. During that time, he also got involved in the management of the band. He recorded with Russell and occasionally 
joined King Oliver and Harry Red Allen on record sessions. In 1932, Teddy formed his own band, which appeared in, at various New York clubs and theaters. For example, the Lafayette, the Banji Club, and the legendary Savoy Ballroom. Norma Miller used to say it, this was a terrific band. She really loved Teddy Hill Band. And it's, it's not a, it's a underrated orchestra. It's not very mentioned, but it was. And you heard it. You heard it from the song Blue Rhythm. What, what a swing they had, man. And um, several key mem uh, sorry, in 1937, um, the, the most important engagement, however, was their trip to Europe in 1937 with the Cotton Club Review. The band accompanied the stage act and played for dancing and the show, after the show. In summer 1937, the Teddy Hill band also appeared at the Moulin Rouge in Paris and later at the London Palladium. Several key members of his orchestra made recording in Paris under Dickie Wells' name. Back in New York, Hill kept this band together until 1940. For many years, he then worked as manager of the aforementioned Milton's Playhouse. Teddy Hill passed in 1978. And now let's listen to another great player, the great trumpet player Roy Elridge, 19, a song live 1937, Mr. Ghost Goes to Town. Hup, hup. <laughs> Yes, Roy Erich, Mr. Ghost, goes to town, 1937, live, live, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's listen to a song that comes from 1938, Andy Kirk, was recorded with Andy Kirk, by Andy Kirk and his Clouds of Joy, his 12 Clouds of Joy. They say they were called this way because of the smoke that used to wrap the band around. What kind of smoke was it? 
We don't know. We can imagine. The name of the song is a mellow, a mellow Beatle rhythm, but we're going to listen to another version. He, Andy Kirk himself recorded with another band in uh, 1956 with a lot of great musicians. Among them, we find Conte Candle on trumpet, Freddie Green on guitar, Milt Hinton on bass, and so on. This is the great, great mellow beat of rhythm, Andy Kirk. <laughs> Andy Kirk, a mellow beat all rhythm, 1956, uh, a remake of the 1938 song. Now let's proceed with the history from the Swinging at the Savoy, the memoir of a jazz dance by Miss Norma Miller, 1996. The next day, the papers were full of the contest. The photographers had captured it and the printed photographs of the dancers. We were gathered at the Savoy reading the paper. Whitey was hoping that Frank and Leon would to walk away with the top prize. He knew that a champion would be in demand to perform. He planned to team the two 
of them and get bookings on the strength of their championship. The Harvest Moon Bowl finals were going to be held at the Central Park Mall for the Lindy Hop, the great Fletcher Anderson Orchestra was supposed to play. But, but, but there was a huge crowd, more people had shown up that had been anticipated. The bus was unable to enter the park, the bus with the dancers. The contest was called off to protect the safety of the public. It was to be rescheduled for a later date when it could be better organized. I didn't know it at the time, but the summer 35 was to be an important one for me. Just like every summer before, Mama had made arrangements to get us on the list for camp. August 23, uh, they called me, hey Norma, come here, you're on the, in, the naispa- in the newspaper. She was at the camp, so the, the, all the kids were there. And I ignored them because I didn't believe them. So they came to me, newspaper in a hand, and showed it me. The headline read, Dance Thrill Awaits 18,500 at Garden. All kinds of dancing. Dreamy waltzer, smooth foxtrot, and swash buckling tangos to twisting rumbas as snappy lindy hop will be done to, perfor- to perfection by the finest amateur dancers in the metropolitan area Wednesday night at the finals of the Daily News Harvest Moonball at Madison Square Garden. No matter how you like your dancing, you'll be thrilled by the performances of 82 couples who've come through the eliminations to battle before 18,500 spectators for the Tercy Korean crowns awaiting the winners. And then astoundingly they mentioned me. We don't remember all of the 82 couples individually, but we'll never forget the stepping of a few of them. There's Norma Miller and Bill Hill as a starter. Norma and Bill are two of the Harlem's favorites. A couple of youngsters who were born with syncopation in their veins, with a strutting in their nature. Then there is Frankie Manning and Maggie McMillian. They're from Harlem too. And when they get on the floor at the garden, your eyes will dart from Bill and Norma to Frank and Maggie. Wow. Wow. It was going to be at the Madison Square Garden. When I go back, I got back to New York, I raced for the Savoy. When I arrived, Whitey kissed me on the check and say, Hey, sweetie, glad you're back. I was wondering if you were going to make the big contest. I told him that after the fiasco at the mall, I wasn't sure there was going to be a contest. I showed him the article and he beamed. Yeah, looks great, done it? And you thought I was ignoring you, didn't you? Listen, I never worry where your dancing is concerned. I know you are going to do great things. You are one of my praise dancers. You know that, don't you? It was the first time he had ever said anything like that to me. I looked at him and all I could say was, thanks, Mac. But I knew that he and I had reached a new understanding. I knew that everything was going to be all right. The next happy phase I ran into was my partner, Billy Hills. He was excited to see me and wondered how I'd find out about the contest. I told him it was big news, even in Connecticut. Oh, the great, the great Miss Norma Miller. What, what a story. Now, let's listen to the, a great friend of Miss Norma Miller, Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald in, um, in the 50s, Recording of Cole Porter's songs from the musical Kiss Me Kate. Let's listen to It's Too Darn Hot. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. I'd like to sup with my baby tonight. Refill the cup. 
with my baby tonight I like to sup with my baby tonight We fill the cup with my baby tonight But I ain't up to my baby tonight Cause it's too darn hot It's too darn hot It's too darn hot I'd like to cool with my baby tonight And pitch the woo with my baby tonight I'd like to coo with my baby tonight And pitch the woo with my baby tonight But brother, you fight my baby tonight Cause it's too darn high According to the Kenzie Report Every average man you know Much prefers his lovey-dovey to court When the temperature is low But when the thermometer goes way up And the weather is sizzling hot Mr. Pants for romance is not Cause it's too, too, too darn hot It's too darn hot It's too, too darn hot Great, Ella Fitzgerald at All That Swing by Big Daddy. Too darn hot. And you can't believe it. You can't believe it. It's really too darn hot. I mean it. And now let's listen to the great Billy Bros Swing Orchestra with our personal rendition of Opus 2 by the Buddy Johnson Orchestra 1945. Let's listen to Opus 2. Swing it.
Right All Right, The Baby Bro Swing Orchestra from their record Savoy Heyday, Opus 2, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's move to Lucky Millionaire and his orchestra, 1945. Like Eskin Hawkins, Lucky Millionaire led a band that straddled jazz and rhythm and blues and played sophisticated dance music for pre- predominantly black audiences. Millinder's featured vocalist in the late 1944 was Winon Harris, who began his career in Omaha, Nebraska, playing drums, dancing, telling jokes and singing. By 1938, he was local favorite and occasionally took the 200-mile trip to Kansas City to watch his idol, Big Joe Turner. Harris left Omaha for Los Angeles in 1940, but was appearing at Chicago's Rumba Boogie, Rumba Boogie Club in 1944 when Millinder hired him to replace sister Rosetta Tarp. This was his recorded debut. And I'm talking about a song called Who Threw the Whiskey in the Well? Tell me who! <laughs> It was an early Sunday morning and the church was crowded full. Old Elder Brown was raving, he was angry as a bull. The congregation sensed it and they knew just what he meant when he said, My text today is you sinners must repent. Who threw the whiskey in the well? In the well. Who Whiskey in the well, in the well. Cause Deacon Jones knelt down to pray. All he said was, Hey, hey. So who threw the whiskey in the well? In the well. Georgia Pine. So who threw the whiskey in the well? In the well. In the well, in the well, who threw the whiskey in the well? In the well, keep your dippers out of that well, or we all wind up in. Together, drink water, get tall. Come on, children, let's have the ball. Who threw the whiskey in the well? Lucky Millionaire Orchestra and the recording debut of Win on Harris on vocals 1945 ladies and gentlemen now let's listen to a white band and it's and it's uh, the white band of the great artist show a clarinet player the name of the song recorded on december 1936 is cream puff
Yes, yes, the great artist show, Cream Puff, 1936. And now let's proceed with a, a chapter from the book Swinging at a Savoy, the memoir of a jazz dancer by Mace Norma Miller, wrote in 1996. The first book about Lindy Hop history. Take note, folks. This is the first book, almost 10 years before Frankie Manning's biography. All right, we rehearsed our routines from top to bottom, and then the music began for the parade of dancers. Our hearts were pounding. We entered the garden to the music of Abe Lehman. Four teams at a time would be competing. We were the last team before the all-around champions were to dance. The MC was Milton Berl who introduced the first ball, ballroom dancers. We were privileged to see the dancing De Marcos, who were the top dance team of the day. They were polished and ex exquisite. Most of the contestants held low-income jobs. Dancing was their way of escaping. Hmm? Here the great Fletcher Anderson took over, and the first of the Lindy Hoppers hit the stage. These were the white lindy operas from the outer areas of New York. By this time, we were like a group of caged animals ready to burst from the box. Fletcher Anderson raised his baton and thus began the wildest dance exhibition that had ever been seen. The Savoy lindy operas took first, second and third prizes. The house went wild when they announced the winners. The winners, Leon and Edith, were dancing in each other's arms. Frankie and Maggie, and Maggie were laughing and crying. I jumped up when they called my name and I dashed up the stairs, not knowing where Billy was. Oh, on the way up, I spotted him. Uh, he had found Melissa, his girlfriend. They both looked very happy and excited, but I could tell they were trying to stay at arm's length. We clowned to the audience and they loved it. The MC was saying, let's hear it for these kids. The applause was like thunder. It was magnificent. The all-around championship was yet to be named, but nothing topped the wild Lindy Hop competition that night. The Lindy Hoppers under Whitey would hold that record for 14 out of the next 16 years. The Lindy Hop competition belonged to us. That night, Whitey's Lindy Hoppers were born. We entered the garden at, as the Savoy Lindy Hoppers, but left as Whitey's Lindy Hoppers. The great, the great Norma Miller. And now, let's listen to Louis Jordan in his Timpani 5 in the great hit of 1945, Caldonia. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
got great big feet. She long, lean, and lank, and ain't had nothing to eat. But she's my baby, and I love her just the same. Crazy about that woman, cause Caledonia is her name. Caledonia! Caledonia! What make your big head so hard, Ma? I love you, love you just the same. I'll always love you, baby, cause Caledonia is your name. She told me, no kid. That's what she said. She said, son, keep away from that woman. She ain't no good. Don't bother her. But mama didn't know what Caledonia was putting down. So I'm going down to Caledonia's house and ask her just one more time. Caledonia! Caledonia! What make your big head so hard? Great hit from 1945, Caledonia. It was a hit for even both for black and white audiences. Uh, Woody Herman made the song a great rendition of this song, and Jimmy Lansford Orchestra as well. It was 1945, but it was a great Louis Jordan with a certain Christopher Columbus on drums. Do you remember? Now let's go meet Tiny Bread Show. Tiny Bradshaw has been a singer in the 30s on the style of Cab Calloway, but with a little bit more of him at the vocals. And uh, he then he fronted his own band, and in, uh, in the late 40s, uh, he, he paved the road for small combos like the one of Drew Jordan. So Tiny Bradshaw was well known for, uh, for, with, for the music that then became the rock and roll. Now we're going to listen to a song recorded in 1944 named Straighten Up and Fly Right. Straighten up, fly right. Straighten up and do right. Straighten up, fly right. Hold on, daddy, don't you know your top. Ain't no use in diving What's the use of jiving? Straighten up, fly right Hold on, baby, don't you lower your top Well, the bug said, Daddy, you're choking me Release that hope and I will set you free The monkey looked the bug right dead in the eye Says, you know that's a tale It's got to be a lie Straighten up, fly right Straighten up do right, straighten up and fly right. Hold on, baby, don't slow your top.
set you free. The monkey looks the boss is right dead in the eyes and says, hold on, daddy. You know that's a lie. Hold on, baby, don't you blow your top. Mm-hmm. Straighten up and fly right. Yes, yes, yes. Tiny Bread Show, 1944. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, you've been listening to all that swim by Big Daddy music, history and culture of the 30s and the 40s. This program that you will listen to for... 36 episodes, this is the 11th, so you can find the previous one on my YouTube channel, of course, and it's part of the Swing European Network project, co-financed by the European Union. Uh, the Italian Swing Dance Academy, whom I'm a board member, represents Italy in this uh, three-year project that has 13 partners and uh, from different, 11 different European countries and whose main focus is on the artist's mobility in Europe. So, I'll be seeing you soon, in one month about, for the 12th episode, and uh, keep on swinging. Now, I want to I wanna leave you, for the moment, with a nail swing, another great nail swing band, from uh, a band that was formed in 1989 by Stephen per Steve Perry, the singer the name of the band is cherry popping daddies and they recorded um <clears throat> an album that was called zoot suit riot the swinging eats of the cherry popping daddies in 1997 man this is the great the great nail swing of the cherry popping daddies hop, hop. Yeah.